But MPP, uh, which is actually short for Mercury Proof, is actually um, our, our next upcoming release. Basically, I think we're quite close to releasing it. And uh, it's basically a proof of work algorithm. And most people think like, oh man, just another proof of work algorithm. You know, it just changes stuff on that. But <coughs> MPP is quite unique. First of all, MPP was actually created by the same people who, who did Acquihash. Acquihash is the guy, the, uh, the, the, the algorithm that's actually implemented in uh, Zcash. And they felt that Acquihash was not as good as they thought, uh, uh, you know, as, as they wanted to be. And that's why they came up with MTP. So MTP is supposed to be a, like an improved version of Acquihash. And I guess the general, the, what MTP is trying to solve is the problem that we're seeing in Bitcoin today, which is minor centralization. Like, you know, we see now Bitcoin, you know, the whole idea was, you know, Satoshi Nakamoto was saying like, you know, one single computing unit, one vote. So of course you have more computers, you have more votes. So, you know, everyone kind of has a say, like the more computers they have, the more you have to say. But now this is not the case with Bitcoin because only a handful of manufacturers can build these specialized machines called ASICs machines. I think there's only what two to three manufacturers in the world that's, that's producing ASIC machines with any type of meaningful volume. And uh, most of these are, are based in China. And, and right now you have, you know, like Bitmain is controlling so much of the of the, the supply of these mining machines and China is having all these miners right now. So that, like, you know, for example, with the whole uh, blockchain scaling debate, just a, a, a small group of people uh, who own these mines or the, the manufacturing supply suddenly has a very dispropor disproportionate amount of say. You know, the community, the users of Bitcoin might say, yes, we want this. But if the miners say no, that's a huge problem. And there's even been talk about let's change Bitcoin's proof of work algorithm altogether, which is a ridiculous notion. But you know, it's come to a point where miners, like you know, a group of small group of people are having a very large amount of say on, on the currency that's supposed to be decentralized. And I think it actually goes against the spirit of what Bitcoin is supposed to be about. Now, <coughs> of course, there's been, you know, kind of attempts and many other types of attempts to sort of uh, come up with ASIC resistant algorithms. And um, like, for example, I guess the first attempt was actually Litecoin, which came up with Script. Uh, and Script actually can be uh, quite ASIC resistant. But the problem is that, you know, yes, you can have a, a, a very hard memory proof of work, but you have to realize that each node also has to verify that that transaction, uh, that the sort of proof of work is valid. So if you make like script was supposed to be, oh, it's a memory hard proof of work, but they only use what, 128 kilobytes of memory, which is actually insignificant. And, you know, within a few years, we have already seen script ASICs. Dash also tried to came up with a ASIC resistant algorithm called X11, whereby they just chain a bunch of algorithms together, which was also kind of pointless because none of them use memory and they develop an ASIC for that. And the ASIC is several thousand times more efficient than a computer or even a GPU. So that now the only people who can, like, you know, even with Dash, uh, it's a real problem right now. There are only probably like two or three manufacturers of of uh, X11 ASICs and many of them aren't selling them anymore. And I don't know why people are not so concerned about this because you basically just have a few companies controlling the security of your network. So you can have, you know, the multi-billion dollar coin that's controlled with people we have, we should only put in maybe, you know, a few million dollars of investment. And that, that to me is scary. And MTP is, is actually a way to sort of give you, a, you know, sort of give back the power to the people whereby anyone with a computer can mine, anyone with a GPU can mine. 
you don't need very specialized hardware, or rather, it's very hard to develop specialized hardware. And the whole idea of MTP is to make the proof of work algorithm very memory hard. Now, what is the sort of logic behind this? And actually, this is quite interesting because um, Zcoin actually started, uh, I think, like a I think about 2,000, 3,000 blocks in with a crazy proof of work algorithm. It was, it was a, a Lyra 2 virus. And it was really like you could not, <laughs> you could really not develop an ASIC for it because the parameters were just like crazy. The only thing that could do it was CPU. And the problem with that was that the nodes were spending so much memory to verify that they were crashing. And like, you know, because let's say if I have a very memory hard type of proof of work, every time when they want to verify it, the verifier also has to do a lot of work to verify. So suddenly, like, let's say like a mining pool, there's, you know, having all these miners and transactions, suddenly he was having to have like, you know, 200 gigabytes of RAM to run his mining pool, which was ridiculous, you know, and it's not economical in the long run. So MTP is saying that, okay, so why, why is MTP ASIC resistant? Because it's memory hard. Memory hard means that uh, because with ASICs, you can always optimize computational tasks. That means I develop specialized chips to do functions in a more efficient way. Because you know CPUs are sort of general processing units, they're, they're supposed to be doing all types of tasks. While if I develop a task, a, a machine that's supposed to do one type of calculation only, I can gain efficiency benefits of it. But by involving memory in it, memory is already very efficient. And when I'm using memory, it's not just about the computation, but it's also about the speed in which you interact with the memory. And that's sort of like a, it's sort of a cap in that because you can't develop a special type of RAM. You know, RAM is RAM, that there are, you know, improvements in RAM, but if you're gonna develop an ASIC, you're most probably gonna get regular RAM off the market, which is also going to perform the same as everyone else. So where you have an algorithm that's mostly about dealing with the memory and not so much on the computation so whatever optimizations that you can get is only on the small part which is the computational part but you can't really optimize for the memory part well that's a general idea to say that a memory hard proof of work is hard to optimize for because you're limited by memory latency and speed and the, the speed that you interact with the memory <clears throat> now the problem with developing a very memory hard proof of work last time was, you know, as we mentioned, the verifier also had to have that amount of memory. So let's say if I had a, a memory hard proof of work that required two gigabytes of RAM, then the verifier might need two gigabytes of RAM as well, which is very hard, especially, you know, when it's dealing with a lot more transactions as such. But with MTP, you may, you make the miner have to have that two gigabytes of RAM, but the verifier just does just needs a fraction of that to verify and is verified in like what milliseconds so it becomes whereby i get to have all the benefits like you know like with uh bitcoin is verified like that because they just do a, a sha 256 hash which which have which happens almost instantly but now i can have a very hard memory proof of work that's verified almost as quickly as a bitcoin SHA-256 transaction. So what this means is that I have a very ASIC resistant algorithm that is performance wise, almost like Bitcoin. And I think that's a real like a step in the right direction rather than all this other type of, uh, um, you know, that means that I can still run my, my node off a of Raspberry Pi. I don't need like a beefy system. And I think in the long term that may be important because you don't want people to have to have very you know powerful computers just to run a Zcoin node, and uh, it also prevents you know transaction uh, uh, spam because it takes so much work to to do it, 
and you know one of the ways uh, like let's say if I do a memory hard proof of work and I wanted to solve clog up the network I just spam all these types of transactions in and yes I will, I'll still have to do this but because all the nodes are sort of choked up verifying the transactions that also sort of brings the, the network to a standstill but when the when the verify is just going like this you cannot spam it fast enough to lock up the nodes which i think is also very important from a sort of network stability basis but i think it's quite hard to communicate how mtp is such a groundbreaking piece of work but i think i mean if you want to talk like as a layman you know we're saying that we are giving you back the power to to have a say and the mining in the, the network without allowing you know a few select individuals to have the say while maintaining all the performance uh, sort of benefits of, of Bitcoin. I guess that's uh, it in a nutshell.